Alrighty, hello everybody, it's Marcus playing Terraria, and today I'm going to take advantage of the conveyor system to create an auto farm. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is put down a lever. Oh, no, 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 I seem to be doing that a lot lately. That repeated mistake. Bye. Of course, there's mobs going around. Of course. Alright, what was it that I needed? Oh yeah, we have conveyor conveyor belts here that we need. Alright, so let's uh we need to place this like somewhat up here. That's what the first thing that everybody does. It's like, hit a switch because, yeah, the switch has to work. Nope. It's not working. So we're just gonna have to do that. Oh, come on, another boss fight? What's with people in their boss fights? Just gonna have to wait till this boss leaves. Got that. Now we need the other conveyor belt. Put it right here. So this is just the blue mushroom farm, but you can do this practically with any uh, any type. We're gonna have to use actuators. Obviously. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make this two steps high just in case because. It's supposed to be that high. Alright, so now we just put this guy here. Just so you can walk in these areas. Once we got that, I should probably use these. Then, I still need the, the opposite conveyor belt on this side. Because otherwise we're not getting anywhere. Did I just get moved by the conveyor? I think I did, yeah. Of course I did. I got moved by the conveyor belt because I touched it. it sucks that it doesn't like take you up like an escalator. Although you can turn them into escalators, I think you can slope them. Alright, so we need another two ups, right? Three ups. I think it goes right here. I think. Yeah, this is right. Alright, we're just gonna make this many because we don't need that much. Again. How many more are you guys spawning? Okay, now we got all we need. Luckily, no griefers yet. I bet you this place will get griefed after it's all done. And they'll be like, Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. Let's get a five second timer. Because uh, we're going to need it. Put it right here. So we need to obviously put the wires here. 
remove the activator and use that red wire to connect to all that. Then we need another wire type that connects to the switch. And that should be it. Now let's just finish up this. Okay, there we go. Now we have an auto farm, so all you do now is literally stand at the bottom of this stupid thing. And stuff comes to you. Like, let's see if that mushroom actually works. Turn it on. Oh, this player's gonna fall with him. And he's done. So, there you go. I don't know, who collected the piece? Did anybody collect the piece? So apparently conveyor belts actually move items along with players, which is good. But everybody has to stand there. So that's one way you could do auto farms. Whoa, did it just freak out right there? Oh, this is... Oh, this is interesting. This is... Oh, uh, that's because the wires change the direction of the um, okay I didn't pay attention to that clearly we gotta redo that the conveyor belts change that's on oops I didn't mean to delete it I meant to take it back alright so we'll just do that fix so that's a tiny reminder Bear belts change direction because of the wires. There you go. Let's fix that problem. So now I just gotta figure out that was counterclockwise, so we need clockwise. There. Okay, everything's fixed now, I think. Of course there's nothing here now, so you gotta wait till there's something to do. There you go. There's one mushroom. Let's just drop a couple. <sighs> Why is that mud block coming back? No way. Stay there. Now just activate it. And this guy picks up the. Oh, luckily he didn't pick it up. Alright, so we. There goes the block. Who? Somebody else took it! I can't even test without 1,500 people being here. Okay, I got a glowing mushroom. Turn it back off. And there we go. This isn't a auto farm. I just put up a sign. Dummy proof auto farm. Don't hit switch unless you do mass. <laughs> and that should do it. Okay, we got like a bunch of people standing up there. They're gonna join us. Uh, it's taking a while. Why is it taking a while? That's weird. There you go. See, you just stand there and it comes all down to you. Oh, that'd be fun if I could lock him in there. Stay in there, come on. Dang it. So there you go. We've got this tiny little auto farm. You can do this with anything, really. You can do this with your... Uh, let's see. I can't plant those guys right now. You could probably do this the same thing with the... Uh, the life fruit farm. Just put jungle grass up and there you go, life fruit farm. If you're lucky enough to get any. You can also do it with the seeds. Obviously the water leaves are not going to work unless it rains and the lava isn't going to work period because that lava is going to come down on you. 
Unless you have some kind of extra plan on how to prevent liquids from passing through. There you have it. This is another Terraria Logics video. Previous people did these farms by just making them drop all the way down and you had to run. Now you just have to stand in one position and let them come to you. Thanks to conveyor belts. Thank you, Zenx, for adding that. That is very useful. Until then, people, as always, don't be a dick. Escape and quit, and I'll see you in the next video.